Hello YouTube, this is GoldenEma1 here and today I'd like to welcome you guys back to another How To Be A Good Squad Member video and in today's episode I'm going to run through with you guys the basics of Galaxy Piloting. So it comes to that point in time when your squad leader has requested for a galaxy and a whole squad goes quiet and shies away from the responsibility. Some feel like they can't fly, whilst others fear that if they do take the galaxy, they'll crash and wipe out the whole squad with it. But hopefully in this video, I'll convince you to take up that vital role when playing in squads. First of all, let's talk about the controls. Some of these keys are the default ones, but to change the keys to something that's more comfortable for you, then press the escape key, click settings, click key bindings, and then into aircraft and edit what you need. We have the W key, which makes us move forwards, the S key, which makes us slow down, the space bar, which makes us ascend, and the control key, which makes us descend. And of course, you can direct yourself with the mouse. Now, these keys will help you get from A to B, but we need to know other maneuvers when piloting a galaxy, so we need to know how to pitch, roll, and yaw. To pitch, we can use the up and down arrow keys, but I recommend that you change this to something that is closer to WASD or on your mouse. For this, I use the thumb buttons on my mouse. To roll left, we have the Q key, and to roll right, we have the E key. This should be used for stabilizing the galaxy, but never when you're about to drop squad members, and I'll tell you why later on in the video. Lastly, to your, we use the A and D key. Whilst using these maneuvers, it should help you to pilot your galaxy more easily, but remember, your mouse should be doing most of the work when it comes to directing yourself. Head on over to the VR room or into quiet territory and practice, practice and practice. 99% of the time, I'm pressing two keys at once. Don't forget to switch between first person and third person whilst flying as well. If you want to speed up, ascend beforehand and then press your W key whilst you press the ascend key and pitch down. For quick turns, roll your galaxy to the left or right and pitch up and press the ascend key at the same time whilst accelerating forwards. Once you get better at manoeuvring, you should be confident to fly your galaxy well enough and react to any situation in the air. The galaxy is built like a tank, but try and avoid liberators, packs of ESFs and enemy AA positions unless told otherwise by your squad leader. Now when it comes to squad play, make sure you're clear on where you need to head out, and most of the time this is specified by the squad waypoint. Approach the squad waypoint at speed and do not slow down, as it's the responsibility of the squad members to drop out in time. Either the squad leader or you yourself as the galaxy pilot should inform the squad when to drop. Make sure your galaxy is balanced out at 0-0, zero, zero. otherwise as they jump they may hit the frame of the galaxy and take damage as they fall, or be scattered across the jump zone, which is not what you want. As they drop, continue to fly at speed, but make sure you fly low and into friendly territory, and if you wish to repair your galaxy, then try and land in a safe zone. And here is an example of this. Just in case we need to go for a second pass. When we drop on the squad waypoint, I want to secure, we need to secure the drop zone and then rally on my position. Get ready. Okay, drop, 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 drop. Excellent, guys. Excellent, keep it up. Okay, let's get inside. Let's get inside. Upstairs, guys. Hold the upstairs. While the galaxy is built like a tank, a mean anti-air ground force or a fully armed tower can shred you to pieces, but as long as you drop your squad members in the right location, then it's mission accomplished. If your galaxy is about to blow and you haven't reached your destination, then inform your squad members to bail. Once the galaxy is destroyed, inform your squad leader and await further instructions. Now, pilots in the galaxy may not be the most entertaining, but it's the most important when it comes to squad logistics. But yeah guys, I hope this video does help you, and if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you'd like to pilot galaxies from time to time, and feel like I've missed something out, then go ahead into the comments section, and leave your tips or tricks for everyone to benefit. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, why not smash that like button? And if you're new to the channel, why not subscribe to receive some more golden quality content?
But nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.